everyone, so today I'm finally back with another video and I don't normally talk about things like this, but I want to talk about things like this and so I'm going to talk about subtle sexist things that are ingrained in our society and just things that we take as absolutely normal sentences and just traditions or anything like that and we don't even think about it anymore because it's so normalized, but when we think about it we can see that they're extremely sexist. Let's jump right into it. Yes, 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 yes. First thing I want to talk about are titles before names. And this is something I saw on the internet like a month or two ago and I was like, holy shit. So you might have noticed that for guys, it's always Mr. No matter if they're single, married, whatever the fuck it might be. And for women, it's Miss and Mrs. And... When you think about it, miss, when the girl is single, not married, whatever, it's like, first of all, it's like something's missing because she's not whole, she needs a man to be considered, like, a whole person, and, yeah, and missus, if you look at the way it's written, it's M-R-S, as in misters. And, meaning, you know, the woman, of course, when she marries the man, she belongs to him. That is certainly extremely sexist, and I think what would be beautiful if women got a new title. And a lot of these things that I'm going to talk about are also, like, heteronormative and just cisnormative and shit like that, but we're not going to get into that much in this video. But yeah, so that's the first one. The second one is something that I also realized and we talked about it with my sister. That is weddings. As per tradition, the guy just stands there waiting for the girl who is walked to him by her father. Which this is like the dad hands over the girl to the guy as if like the dad owes her, uh, owns that girl and then he gives her to the man to the to her like future husband who will now own her this is extremely sexist and this is like a really really old tradition that is like it's it's fortunately not as bad now as it used to be but it's still from the past when the girls were literally given to the man by the dad and sold or whatever and that's just disgusting and like uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> the third thing is a language thing, and that's just the whole hey guys greeting, and or it doesn't have to be hey guys, it can be anything else, like what up guys, or whatever, and how we use guys as for like everyone. Again, this is extremely sexist, it's also like cisnormative, is that a word? So it doesn't include non-binary people, and so that's actually why I stopped saying hey guys which was a long time ago, but I started saying hello everyone because I wanted to include everybody in my greeting. And yeah, all this could look at something that's not important at all, but I think that all these little tiny things just add to the big picture. And I think that, of course, it's not the most important thing. Like, the big picture matters more than these tiny little things, but I think we need to change these tiny little things to change the whole thing, so... That's why I'm just talking about all of this. And we can also talk about this with all the names for people in general, like mankind and like men, meaning kind of like people. And that's like, no, there are not only men in case you haven't noticed. No. <laughs> so one thing that actually I've noticed is the whole guy paying for everything. Because this is just from the past when women weren't even able to have normal jobs and the men were the ones making the money. And this is like sexist and unfair even towards guys because then like why are they supposed to be the ones who always pay for shit? Because you know we as women are capable of making money now. We can have jobs and we can make a lot of money and we can pay for things. You know, it's like a tradition or a thing that is just done that is kind of sexist in both ways. And it's like, we should normalize that like everyone can pay for the meal and we should just like sometimes the guy's gonna pay, sometimes the girl or anyone who might be in between or whatever. 
and we can just be nice humans who just sometimes pay for the other person and sometimes we are paid for what well, yeah <laughs> another thing that uh, isn't really subtle but yeah it's like the types of toys and the colors like pink and blue and that girls play with Barbies and guys play with play with cars it's just that other stupid gender norm bullshit that's like dictates what a certain gender might like or not like or whatever and it's just stupid because like everyone should be able to wear whatever colors they want to wear and play with whatever they want to play with and I think that we should give kids and everyone the opportunity to do whatever they want to do no matter if it's absolutely like exactly what the stereotypical gender norm bullshit says or if it's the exact opposite we shall be free to do whatever makes us happy and so this is definitely something that we should change and I think it's definitely more important than like the name things like even that I think is really important because I feel like when you really start paying attention to it it's like why would we greet only guys, you know? Like, I know it doesn't work that way, but it's like, I'm not gonna say hi guys anymore because it's like, if someone's especially going through like a gender identity crisis or whatever I should call it, you know, hearing guys everywhere or anything like that might be really hurtful. I don't know. I just think that it's really important we work on even little things like this that might be neglected because like it just adds to the big picture and uh, yeah again i could talk about a billion more things but this is what i thought about and this is what i wanted to share with you and uh, yeah i'm sure i'm gonna get a lot of fun comments for this video but i don't give a shit because i really want to talk about this so please tell me in the comments down below what other things you can think of if you can think of anything else and if you want me to make a part two because there are certainly more things and I could do anything like heteronormative subtle things that we do or anything like that so yeah that's gonna be it <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and yeah I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna see you in the next video bye